All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to give you three action tips that you can use for your high ticket dropshipping business today. Okay, now this is going to be real fast. Tip number one, we only use U.S. based suppliers. I know some people, they like to use China. We don't. For our methods, there we only use U.S. based suppliers. And I personally like U.S. suppliers because for one, I can pick up the phone. I can call someone if, if need be. I can email them. I can understand the language and that's just that's just personal why I, why I like it but I mean there's more reasons than that but that's just off the top of my head like I know the shipping times are fast I can pick up the phone I can call someone I can eat shoot an email get an answer within you know 20 30 minutes uh, if I don't get an answer by email I can always call now this is tip number two this is very important guys we only deal with manufacturers okay a lot of people, they, uh, they, a, a lot of times when you, when you drop shipping, you, you, you get a lot of these distributors and you're not going to get the best price. You, you deal with these wholesalers, you're not going to get the best price for high ticket drop shipping. Okay. Um, and you definitely, the wholesalers are nothing but middlemen. And so you want to avoid them most definitely. Okay. You want to set up your account. You want to make sure that you have a reputable manufacturer that does quality goods and you won't have a problem. Okay. Now, this is tip number three. I want to show you this. Okay. This is called MAP. M-A-P. Minimum Advertised Price. Now, the reason for MAP is to uh, is sort of to enforce uh, a set standards for all suppliers so that you're not in a race to the bottom. You know, a lot of guys, they sell stuff from, I don't know, China, wherever, wherever they sell it from. It doesn't matter. But um, they'll sell stuff, and they're constantly trying to undercut each other, you know. I mean, they're already selling stuff where the margins are low. Then they're constantly trying to undercut, undercut, undercut. With this with this uh, minimum advertised price, what that means is that all sellers are, you know, they're required, especially like online sellers, they're required to sell at a certain um at a certain uh, a certain advertised price. Now I'm gonna show you something right here. Okay, let's let's come over here. Now, all right. Now we're looking at this this um, this fireplace. Okay. Now when we go in here, and we look at all of the prices. We're gonna what you're gonna notice is almost all of the prices are the same. See, like this, all almost all of them are the same. There's no race to the bottom. Now you have a couple of these. That are th uh, that are three thousand three hundred and sixty nine. You have like one, two, but you can see they're all the same price, and that's what Map does. Map keeps people from from going way under, and you can see either either all of them at this at this very low end, or they're all above that. Okay, now you'll see right here. There's one for three thirty five twenty nine, and there's another one down here for thirty five twenty nine. And there's another one right here for 30. So you have three for the 35.29 and three for this 33.69. Then you have this guy. He's selling his way above. So, I mean, if he's making sales, his, his margins are great. And so, guys, those are the three things that I want to tell you. Number one, U.S.-based suppliers. Number two, make sure that you get manufacturers no distributors no wholesalers no middlemen and number three make sure you get suppliers that enforce map minimum advertised price so that way you're not in a rush to the bottom like i said you can see all of these people are selling at the very lowest all of these are selling at the same price so you know that they're enforcing map because all of these guys are the same price now you just learned some things about drop shipping that you probably didn't even know. You probably didn't even know about minimum advertised pricing and dealing with strictly manufacturers and U.S. based manufacturers. Now, guys, if you learned something from this video, what I want you to do is I want you to click that bell notification and make sure you click it so that when I upload videos that you'll be able to get notified. Also, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be dropping videos quite often so that I can keep you guys up to date on what's going on and like this video. And I am out. Thanks.